What's up guys? Welcome back to some more Dead by Daylight. Today we're going to begin our series of the seven deadly sins. So I thought, who is the most prideful killer? And at first I thought Doctor, because he believes he's the best at everything. But then I also thought about Ghostface, because he loves what he does. He loves killing people, but he also loves getting fame from it. He's very prideful about that. And it even shows it in his morris when he takes a picture. So I thought that would be pretty fitting. He's also a reporter who reports on his own crimes. Now for pride, we've got hubris, because I'm pretty sure that has something to do with pride. The explanation of it will be here. Then we've got superior anatomy, because we are top dog. And then starstruck, because who wouldn't be amazed by us? I should probably say what these do. All right, backtrack. Hubris. When we're stunned, the survivor that stunned us suffers from exposed for 20 seconds. Superior anatomy is when a survivor fast vaults through a window. We can actually vault that window 40% faster, which is nice. Uh, but we've got to be within 8 meters of the survivor. Starstruck is survivors that are in our terror radius. If they are in our terror radius, when we pick someone up, then... They become exposed for 30 seconds. No. I think they're exposed. Okay. Exposed for 30 seconds when they get out of your terror radius where you finish up someone. Sorry. For some reason, I had a hard time reading that. Remember me because we are memorable. Because why wouldn't we be? Our obsession, when they lose one health state, then we get a token. Each token we get increases the exit gate's opening time by 6 seconds, up to a maximum of 24 seconds. But that only affects everyone who's not the obsession. So we want to get those four tokens and then just kill the obsession. So it takes them like an extra 24 seconds to open the exit gate. Add-ons, we've got the camera and the headlines for the news articles having to do with us. This increases our movement speed both by stalking, while stalking, I can't talk. And this decreases the time required to mark a server by 20%. Not bad for brown add-ons, honestly. And then we've got an Ebony Memento Mori. I know we've been using a lot of these, but they've been very fitting recently. This one is more so because his Mori is literally him taking a picture with his kill. So I don't know why my my skirt is floating but uh yeah if you guys have a build you think will work better let me know down in the comments below but let's go ahead and hop on it all right let's try this for definitely the first time yeah oh thank you jeff i don't super know the spawns on this map because i honestly haven't played it a bunch See no one there. Mm. Oh, how convenient. What's up, Jeff? Yeah, no, I'll just grab you. That was really convenient, those three were together. One of them could see me. I think Jeff could. Where'd the other one go? Hmm. I think Jeff's still over here somewhere. Surprise! Yeah, it really was that easy. I thought the third person was going to be here. Try to pile drop. Oh. Guess not! Okay, cool. I'll take it. Oops, a daisy. I'm gonna go after her, but in a moment. Need to slap Jeff again. Oh, 
Ah, darn. I'll try again. Thanks. That was convenient of you. I wanted Jeff, but I guess you'll do. Yeah, that gen's still regressing. I didn't see. I think Cheryl actually came for the save. I think Kate was working on the gen in the beginning. Let's just listen for these ones. I knew Jeff didn't leave. Where do you think they went? Where are they? They're still over here, so I like don't super want to leave because I know they're over here. One of them saw me. Okay, I gotta move out from that area. I think that gen over there is where the Kate ended up running to. Possibly the Cheryl as well. Maybe not. Okay, my interest has peaked. I just gotta slap Jeff again. Well, that's actually okay. That one's way out there. Okay, well, that's less... I mean, now all my gens are in the middle, though, so... Whatever, but still. Ooh, someone was naughty. Hey, Kate. Uh, not Kate. Meg. Redhead. Sorry. Also, just don't look at me. Like, I, I, I really didn't mean to tunnel you, but you kind of just kept showing up. Ah, we got some leaves in. Oh, well. Now they're down a person. And they had, like, two opposite teams on gems. So... Hopefully, all the gems now don't have too much on them. Too much progress. That one's not moving. That one's not moving. I think I saw birds. I did. Hey, Jeff. How's it going, bud? Very convenient that you have that perk on. I gotta say, it is incredibly helpful. That's an object of obsession that he's using. Let's go check this chin over here. Oh, that scratch marks. I don't even know what you're doing. I don't think you know what you're doing either, but it was weirdly working. Where'd you go? Ah, well, that didn't work out at all. Come here, Kate. You have another pallet, really? No. We're done. We're done with that. Jeff, bud. Jeff, I know you're behind that wall. Oh, yeah, because you were exposed. Man, that sucks for you. I was really confused for a second. I thought Jeff was going to be in the corner. All right, well, I'm going to go slap Jeff. I'm not going to pick him up, though, because I want those tokens. Hi. Where's Jeff? 
there's Jeff. Are you guys all over here? Okay. Well, that's really convenient for me, actually. Jeff, I'm going to slap you and go after someone else. Oh, she totally bodied you. I mean, I am going to do that. I don't think it worked out the way you wanted it to, though. Okay, Jeff's got no mither, so he can get himself back up. Ooh, maybe I'll just kill Kate. Yeah, we'll kill Kate. We'll let Jeff get himself back up. We'll go after Cheryl. Feign that we're bad, but we're actually just going to let Jeff get her off a couple times. I'll finish it up. Should we watch a movie in the meantime? I wonder if that's the steel mill from um, Casting of Frank Stone, which, by the way, super excited for. Super uber duper excited for that. Okay, there we go. Cheryl, come back over here. I've hooked Cheryl once. Ah, Cheryl, Cheryl. If you were her, where would you go? I think I would go behind the killer shack. Hmm. They're actually getting kind of close to winning because they guaranteed Jeff's on that other gen. Well, maybe not. Okay. There's Jeff. Jeff, buddy, you got to get a different perk. That one's not working out for you. Ring around the rosy game, it don't work. But what might work is Cheryl's hiding. Sneaky. Okay. Well, we're gonna let Jeff get himself back up again. The nice thing about Gnome either. I mean, you can see Jeff has no either. You could go get him. He should be back up soon. We'll wait just a minute. Yeah, I know. Go get your teammate so I can kill you both. Sorry, I really just, I want to get everything I can from this more. So is there anything that says for sure where things are going to spawn? No. Come here, Cheryl. It's really nice that I can count on his gnome either. Like, I feel bad slugging him so much, sort of, but not really. Like, he literally just has a perk that I know what he's got. Hey, you stay there. Let's use this to find him. Thanks, buddy. Oh. 
Good timing. Like, I see what you were going for there. Did not quite work, though. I think she went over to the killer shack because she knew she was going to get down. So she might get hatch. But we'll still call it a win. Oh, adrenaline. Interesting. That's unfortunate. Okay, I don't know where the hatch can spawn here. Can it spawn in the theater? I don't know. I hear her. She doesn't know either. Is she upstairs? hear you. Is she up in that bathroom? Ah. I didn't even see that blood previously. Didn't even see it. Alright, say cheese! Beautiful. Alright, bye! She didn't even, like, try to look around for it. I think she was waiting for me to... me to find it. And then she was just gonna try to open the door. But, uh, yeah, that didn't work. Alright, well, that was our Pride 7 Deadly Sin build. If you guys have a build you'd like me to try, or a theme you think would be interesting, drop down in the comments. Until next time, stay spooky. Doodles! Doodles!